Hey everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, you might notice there's a bit of a shift from the last episode. Ooh, hello. All I basically did was try to figure out how to get into the lighthouse, and I think I figured it out. I'm going to talk to these. I'm just going to call them squirrels, but they're not squirrels. Hello, sir. Oh, Cut out my house in my first step down in Southern Water Tottle. Alright, that's what we were missing last time. Only a fish can make it all the way, so we need to apprehend ourselves a fish. But where are we going to find a fish? I see a good deal of fish right there. So how's it going, you guys? I'm doing pretty good. There's um proposed StarCraft balance updates in the near future, so I'm looking forward to reading what those are going to be. Because I think the game's in a pretty good spot, but I am curious to see where they take it from here. But you might be thinking, dude, I don't care about that. I'm not here to listen about StarCraft. I'm here to listen about Mario Odyssey. Which, I mean, I was going to say is I wonder how many people are actually interested in, like, commentary about different... Why am I Mario again? Can I steal a fish? Thank you. Power move just right there. Like back in the dark waterway. That was very easy. Because, oh, are those? I feel like those are eels, man. That is not okay. That is so. <gasps> Why is that Mario caves are like consistently creepy, man? Look at that! <laughs> if that's not nightmare inducing, I don't know what is. I was like, oh yeah, like we'll talk about, you know, talking about uh, different games we're playing this one. But, oh my goodness, so many more eels. Like, that's just one of those things. It's like, well, yeah, Mario is a kid's game. Or at least, you know, it's like. Jeepers, man, I can't get over that. You know, it's a game for, like, younger people. But, uh, and then you see stuff like that, and it's like, man, like, that could be in Resident Evil. And I was like, okay, yeah, that felt acceptable to be in Resident Evil game. Holy, I... And I want to know what would have happened if they, um, ate me. I feel like that would have been instant death. Alright, we made... No! <laughs> well, we did make it to the top of the little lighthouse. On the bright side, we never have to go deal with those eels again. Oh. Like, don't get me wrong, I think eels are really cool. Like, eels are probably one of my favorite aquatic animals, but, um, I can't possess a bird. That was just disturbing, man. Just something about being eaten. Yahoo! Lighthouse seal. And then it just went right through the platform. Alright, this should be good. You should be like super angry now, right? Alright, uh. I feel like we're gonna need this. And away we go. Not what I meant to do. I was trying to figure out how to see if we can aim. Okay, because I feel like there's something to do with the um 
to be pulling. Get above his head? Oh, okay. Maybe we need to, um. There we go. Alright, that makes sense to me. <laughs> Alright, so I just appear to work, that's good to know. Yeah, let's do like Vortex, I probably want to stay away from the ones. Let's just this camera a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Let's see if I can't get over his head again. See, I don't know if that's going to do much, though. Because we already cleaned off all the lava. time and then we're good to go. What an enjoyable boss fight, I will say. Oh, that's another checkpoint. Glass Palace, sorry, I'll have to sure check that out after this. Having an octopus head explode, like, I feel like they could have slapped on Emery from Mario and it would be just fine. Also, that's pretty cool. We did it! The man wearing boxers and a sombrero defeated a giant octopus. The glass is half full. That's not what come life I prefer to have. Yeah. <laughs> My guess, what a pretty sunset. It's so nice that the fountains and sparkle all are, are back. Oh, Let's see how Bowser's in this game anymore. Shall we head to the next? That was very short. All right, I am going to explore for a little bit longer because I feel like there's still a couple things I can do here. Yep, we absolutely have. Okay, I feel like there's gotta be something else that. Cracking the wall. Oh dear. Alright, so we gotta be careful to not die. Actually, it doesn't really matter if we die, does it? Because we'll just lose 10 points. Okay, so we were up here before. That's amazing that we can use a hat to bust open obstacles. All right. Um. Oh boy. 
Is scaly your character camping on the top? Look at this view, I want to commit every detail to memory. Alright, so we need to grab one of our little friends. Which, luckily, there's one right there. Oh, but we're out of time, so I'm gonna end the episode. So, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you